Hey guys, Robust is back again. Welcome back to another episode of my Minecraft survival series, Journey to the End. Uh, in this episode, I'm going to be going on mainly a mining trip. Uh, this is my friend uh, right here in the server, White Boy Bubba 14 uh, He'll be joining me throughout this uh, gameplay series, and hopefully I'll have a few other friends join me too. Because it's kind of hard to <laughs> solo fight the Ender Dragon. So, right, yeah, right now we're just simply mining... I uh, really haven't done too much since the last episode. Really the only big notable improvements is we've gained some resources like this. And then I built like a farm base. So it's like a two, just like a basic two floor wood block house. And then I have an animal farm and a crop farm set up. So nothing like crazy creative designed or anything. Simply just set up a base and uh, started mining for materials. I'll probably do a base tour and some more of that farming building stuff in the next episode. Along with hopefully a trip to the nether if we can get some diamonds and get a diamond pickaxe. One thing people always forget to do is they always ignore coal when they're mining. I've noticed that happens a lot. But coal is like one of the most useful resources. Coal you use just to cook stuff, make torches, like you need it all the time for everything. Uh, that and pro that and probably iron are the most useful because gold is basically useless, and diamond is really sturdy and useful, but it's only good for like specific things, like you need a diamond pick for the Nether or you need a jukebox enchantment table stuff like that, because it's hard to find enough for like full armor sets, and even if you do, if they get damaged or break, it's hard to find enough to then replace that or to repair it using an anvil. He's got a trident right there he's using. Right now we're just uh, cruising through the savannah biome. Pretty close to the house, not too far. It's a lot of water pits here and like around the field here too. Oh, llama's nice. Is that a baby llama? <laughs> I think that was a baby llama that I just passed. Oh. <laughs> oh, it looks like you found a cave. Nice. And it looks like it goes deep. Who knows if it actually... Oh, nope. It's just... Like, end off, cut off point. That's not fun. Hey, hey. Nah, you don't shoot my friend like that. There we go. Learn your place. Also, hopefully... What I have planned at the current lineup for the following episodes is kind of a farm, current base tour. And hopefully another another episode, and then also a journey to try to find a dot. Oh, there's some iron. Nice. Uh, so if you guys have any tips on how to find a biome that actually spawned wolves, please let me know because it seems to be quite difficult in the bedrock edition of Minecraft with all the new biomes and all the new rules and stuff they added. I haven't been able to find them too commonly. But yeah, hopefully in the future I want to get my get some dark oak stuff like that. And build like a cool actually creatively designed base like a pretty good looking house and then the base i have now will simply just be my farm which is that's what it is now but i won't actually use it as like my main living Ooh, mob spawner yes music disc yes oh it's so hard to find music disc but i love oh yay cat too that's one of my favorites Ooh, enchantment book. That'll be useful for when we're enchanting our gear for the Ender Dragon. And another music disc. Epic. Ooh, and a name tag. So 
String, ooh, another enchantment book too. I didn't realize there were two in this chest. Of course, you got some cool and string and other normal things. Oh, I always grab the chest too down in these mob spawners and stuff. I don't just leave them just because it's always useful to have extra chests, you know? Oh, some more coal there too. And I uh, accidentally almost tried money, it was my sword. That's what I call a pro gamer move. Yep, it's always nice finding these big coal deposits. Especially if you have wood on you and you're mining for a long time, because then you can just make a bunch of torches on you if you run out. So that's my number one, my, my two highest alum, or sorry, three while mining. Is one, when I try to get out, I can't find my way out. And then while I'm actually down there, it's that I run out of wood or coal. I uh, typically wood I don't have on me, so I can't, even though I collected all these resources, I can't make any new tools and stuff because I don't have any wood for sticks or anything. So now I try to usually at least bring some wood or some sticks on me in case that happens, so I'm okay. But there have been times when my pickaxe and stuff is broken, I have no wood and I'm completely lost. And I have to try to slowly try to punch my way out from the highest point I can get to that I can find in the mine. Looks like it goes pretty deep. Ooh, more iron and coal. Also, excuse any background noise in the videos. I really wish that it was completely clear audio, but sadly, my setup and stuff is it's a nice setup, as you guys saw on the poster display video and stuff like that. I've been showing where I actually do stuff, and it's a pretty nice place to actually play and watch stuff. But it can be kind of loud because it's actually a basement, so like the boiler and the piping and stuff you can hear. So it's not too bad uh, from when I've listened over the audio for the most part that I can tell. But it's definitely, you can hear it in the background, it's like a background noise. Oh dang, lava down there. We don't want to go there this instant. Check down here first, see if there's anything else. Oh, there is. Dig me a little staircase here. Oh, oh, dang spider. That is the power of an iron sword, my friend. Let me grab this coal quick. Guess I'll head down here. I think Bubba head down here. Of course, you gotta get this big coal deposit first. Don't wanna accidentally forget it. And I accidentally just uh, mined dirt with my pickaxe. Totally, totally pro gamer. You see, oh, that's not good. Uh, especially because he had some of that stuff on him, too. Also, I forgot to mention, sadly, I won't be able to have any of his commentary or, like, friends' commentary in the series. But, actually, I'll head down to where he was in a minute, because I think he said he found diamonds. And then I'll go try, uh, see if there's any of his loot survived. I doubt it, unless he was near the surface, but I'll check anyway. Really hope I don't die, because that would be very unfortunate. Because music discs are, like, almost impossible to find. You have to really get lucky and find a good bop spawner. And I'm guessing it was down there. That's a dead end, so it's gonna be down the pit, yeah. 
Oh, that ain't nice. Uh, man, this is always fun. What the hell? There, it started doing gravel with a pickaxe. Oof. Yeah, now we can get down fine. I'm guessing it went this way, and that's definitely a lot. Ooh, redstone. Yeah, I need to... Hopefully after we actually do defeat the Ender Dragon, I don't plan on dropping the survival series completely. I'll plan on then probably expanding and doing more normal, like just fun building stuff, redstone contraptions, probably stuff like that. So I'll still use this as a consistent survival world and have the survival series going. Uh, hopefully this is successful. We do make it to the end, get the Ender Dragon. And then I don't know if I'll just continue the series under the same title. But I'll continue the world for sure and I'll continue a series of the world. But I probably will retitle it since we're no longer journeying to the end because we've completed that. Maybe I'll do like a second season of it after we defeat the Ender Dragon and then go after the Wither. That'd be a fun one. But yeah, if anyone's wondering too why I don't have like consistent Minecraft series, it's because they're for different things. So my Rain series, Rain by the way stands for Rybuscus's Adventures in Minecraft. Uh, during like the channel revamp earlier this year is when I retitled it because it was easier just to have an acronym And I gotta be careful because I do not want to lose my stuff right now. I have so much good loot on me I always try to dig around it get some of this gravel try to find the diamonds uh, He told me they were buried under the gravel because he got knocked by it. So everything just got buried But yeah, the Rame series is just clips from me going in any world, not a specific world. It's just me doing whatever in Minecraft. Then in my build battle series is quick builds. I did, but, and then this, of course, is my proper survival let's play. Really wish I could do more gameplay in between episodes or like, but they're just such an upload clog and it'd be so slow, especially while trying to do multiplayer because it would like the other person since I'm the host. And, yep. Yeah some of this so sadly don't always got a lot of footage no 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 my god no 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 why did that this actually happen i had so much good loot those music discs here was like no way to replace them and i had multiple enchantment books and a name tag all things that i can't make great just great just perfect just perfect Oh, let's try to get some... I guess I'll probably get some tools and stuff, and then try to make my way back there, trying to find it. See if there's anything survived, because I was trying to go up in the lava, so something might have popped onto the surface of the gravel. And I got iron, drive sticks. I don't have any sticks, crap. Uh, I don't have any materials to build any new tools. Uh, I'll just have to grab my bucket. Some of the tools I already have in here, I guess. Don't know I do. I can make some stuff. Okay, so I'll make a pick with that, and then I have an extra axe in my chest, I think. Diamonds! Okay, so, uh, yeah, sorry about the weird cut there. Okay, so basically what happened in between that is I went back there. I got my full set of iron armor and a shield. I went down to where... Uh, Bubba has because he returned here. Sadly, none of our stuff survived, so that's all gone. Still angry about that. Uh, but we did manage to dig out the diamonds because you see it got like buried by the gravel here. And I brought a water bucket with me. Yeah, as you can see, I mean, I only have my pickaxe and the axe, and I've got my shield and everything. But yeah, so I'm just we managed to make it back down here. Bubba has like nothing on him right now because basically all his weapons and stuff was on him when he drowned in the lava so i mean i guess it didn't wasn't all for nothing we managed to get diamonds even if we lost some irreplaceable loot 
most of the stuff that was in replaceable was like the name tags and then like the music disc which doesn't have any actual tactical combat advantage just really nice thing to have if you're trying to make it like an improved cool world which i do and that's like one of the main things i love doing in this game is building and making cool creations but considering this series the main goal is to defeat the ender dragon it wouldn't have helped as much uh wouldn't have really done much to add to the series it would have just been fun gameplay for me personally it would have been a cool thing to have those actually we would have had to use a diamond to make the jukebox too so yeah we probably wouldn't have even been able to make one for a while because you'd probably try to do armor and everything first yeah some more diamonds and i have no light now and i have no torches because i didn't have enough materials because all my wood and stuff was on me when i died I didn't have much left, so I just put it all on me in case I needed to build tools while mining or anything. Epic. All these diamonds. Obviously, as soon as we get... Ooh, yes! No more diamonds! Right on the lava. That's not fun. We got some iron and stuff here, too, so it looks like this is a really resource-rich area. More redstone also. Nice. And I try not to take my map on me because it's like really hard to replace them. But I didn't know where this was at. I had to go find Bubba. So. I found a lot of diamonds here. Jeez. What? Oh, I thought there was only one. I looks like there's more underneath it. Oh, there's at least three. Four. Wait, there's another one. Five. Dang. Wait, six? Wow! Unless I miscounted. Either way, still, that's a lot of diamonds, especially in one spot. We got 12 diamonds from down here. Never mind, 13. That's what I call an epic gamer moment. Go ahead and collect this redstone here. Definitely a dangerous area, though. I would collect a subsidian, but we don't have any sticks to make a diamond pick with those right now. I would just take it now and then not have to come back. Guess we'll have to come back at a later date. I just realized it kind of looks like an M right there. Or it looked, did look like an M, the lava that was left. Got some more coal here. Hope you guys are really enjoying this series. Uh, if you are, remember to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Because even though it's, it's been really tough recently, though, because even though this year I had out custom profile pic, custom banner. I've got custom layout on my YouTube channel. I've got proper playlists, proper titles, thumbnails, fully HD content, actual gameplays instead of just holding a phone up to my TV. Uh, my views have been pretty bad, honestly. All my really popular videos, all my popular uploads that uh, have a lot of views, they're all really from three years ago. During like my prime Scanlander unboxing age. I think the most popular one, what happens when you put a Skyline or a Disney Infinity Portal, actually just broke 7,000 views yesterday. And then I think the second most popular, the only other one that broke 1,000 is the 2.2 thousand one. It's a Pikachu X by Plush Review. But yeah, it's I still find it strange. I mean, I know it's really tough to get exposure and get out there on YouTube, but still, to have all my old content 
n get way more views than my new content, even though it's l literally higher quality. Like, not that the old videos weren't good and, like, entertainment quality, but I'm talking, like, the literal quality of the videos, like, how they're produced, thumbnails, a playlist, even simply what category they are. Like, all that stuff is, like, properly set up now, and I have it all. Like I said, I even have proper formatting on, like, my YouTube page with related channels. And, like, I got all my popular uploads and playlists. And then at the bottom, I actually added a Minecraft section that has all my Minecraft series playlists. Oh, you okay there, Bubba? Dang. Whoa, well, creeper, 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 creeper. Got it? Okay, I bumped the creeper away. Shouldn't, if it blows up, it really shouldn't matter. I don't think there's any resources there. It's in the water, so it probably won't do that much. Yeah, I just did a blowback force. Now my perfect armor has a slight dent in it, but really you can't tell. It literally just basically popped up the green bar. Just got hit one time. Dang, 13 diamonds, oh jeez. Okay, so we'll go ahead and split these diamonds then, and then I'll give some to him, and he's gonna head back up to the surface, because I wanna mine around here and get some of these more resources, but we cannot lose all these diamonds, so we'll split them, so that way, even if one of us dies, they're still there, and hopefully he'll make it to the surface quick and bring him back anyway, because he has uh, all his stuff he lost in the lava, unlike me that managed to have some backup stuff, he really has, like, nothing on him, so... Godspeed, Bubba. Protect the diamonds with your life. Oh, also, I've got a pet chicken that lives in my house named Arnold. So hopefully he'll be in the next episode, too. Oh, creeper! Oh, more redstone. Got some gold over there. Gold's cool to have and mainly used for like just armor for decoration and stuff. No one's actually gonna wear a gold armor or a gold sword. It just has like no durability. It's cool to have if you wanna get like an armor display and stuff like that or you need gold for something else. Cause I think you can use it in like different redstone contraptions and stuff. But really not too useful for actual combat. It's really dangerous right now, oof. I really don't want to die again, especially after last time. Like, the only reason I'm not completely angry about last time is even though we lost some of that unreplaceable stuff, it wasn't really tactical, useful stuff. And we've managed to make up more than the resources I had on me before, so we still made out good. Still wish that we could have got the rest of it, though. So it still sucks, but not nearly as bad since we found all this other stuff. Probably should head up here pretty quick after I wrap this stuff up. I don't have any torches anyway, and I don't want to lose any of that stuff. Yeah. So I'm just going to go ahead then, wrap this stuff up, and then head back up to the surface. Um, and then, yeah, the next episode, either a farm tour or it'll be another episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the series and enjoyed the video. And hope you have a great day. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.